Christmas magic. When I was little, I liked Christmas time the best. At Christmas time, everything twinkled and sparkled and looked different and magic. One Christmas tree for Grandad. But there was one Christmas when we were going to have a very special Christmas day. Climbing up. One Christmas cake for Grandad. We were going to stay with Grandad. We were going to make Christmas magic for Grandad too. Yeah. I chose a special Christmas present for Grandad from me. It was a big, big Santa. Before we went to Grandad, we listened to Christmas carols. Carols were in a big, high place. When we came out of a big, high place, it was snowing. Oh, Santa will love this. Why? So the reindeer can pull a sleigh in the snow. The next day was Christmas Eve. It was all snowy. It was magical. Hooray! Santa can ride his sleigh. We put all the special things for Grandad's Christmas in the car. It was a long way to Grandad's. Mummy and me played I Spy. White and fluffy. Climb. Counting cars. How many red cars you can see? One, two, and sang songs. I love Willie and Willie loves me. We've been together, together since we were wee. It was a long way to Grandad. We had to stop for lunch in a little cafe. After the cafe, Mummy drove the car. Daddy and me played I Spy. White and crunchy. Snow. Yay! Counting cars. So if we see a blue car, we count, OK? One, two, and three, sang songs. Four. We play, we play hide and, and we play run. run. We, we have, have funny, 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 funny fun. Then Daddy fell asleep. Mummy, can you film the story? Uh, no, Teg, no, I've got to concentrate on driving. Outside, I couldn't see much, just snow. Are we there yet? Uh, no, Teg, not yet. It was a long way to Grandad. I was bored. Hey, Teg, long journeys can be boring when there's nothing to do. But there is something you can do all by yourself. You can make up a story. A finger and thumb story. A finger and thumb Christmas story. Your fingers and thumbs can be all the different people in the story. Yeah, that's right. Go for it, Tig. Have a think and tell yourself a story with your fingers and thumbs. Yes, I thought. I can tell myself a story. Once upon a time, Mummy and Daddy and we, Pinky Tig, walked through the snow. A reindeer came along, pulling a sleigh. In the sleigh was Santa. Santa looked just like Grandad. Then suddenly, we arrived at Grandad's house. It was like magic. I was so happy to see Grandad. Oh, happy Christmas Eve. The funny thing was, there was no snow now. Grandad, there's no snow. Oh, don't worry, Tex. Snow or no snow, Santa'll still get here. One Christmas tree for Grandad. Oh. Presents for Grandad. Can I open them now? No, not until tomorrow. We were bringing Christmas magic to Grandad. Our special Christmas Eve box. Oh. Mummy had a special Christmas Eve box. Grandad said I could open it. When I opened the box, there was a brand new pair of Christmas pajamas. A stocking to hang up for Santa. For all my presents. And some funny toys for us all to play with. Frog race. Oh, frog race. We'll go make the summer. Come on, then. Then Grandad and me had a race. OK, Tech, we ready? One, two, three, go. Go! Oh! <laughs> After supper, I put in my new Christmas pyjamas. Outside, there was still no snow. Biscuits for Santa. We need to leave them at the chimney. Oh, but look, Grandad doesn't have a chimney. 
Granddad needs to have a chimney. I know. Why don't we go and put it in the hall, OK? Come on then, we'll go and leave it in the hall. Chimney or no chimney, Santa's still going to leave you presents. Granddad didn't have a chimney. So we left the biscuits at the front door. I hung my stocking at the end of my bed. Mummy, how will Santa know I'm at Grandad's house, not my house? Because Santa will always know where you are, Tig. Right, come on, into bed. <laughs> Santa will always know where you are, said Mummy. Mummy kissed me. Night, night. But I couldn't go to sleep. I was worried. There was no snow for Santa's sleigh. No chimney for Santa to climb down. And did Santa know I was staying at Grandad's? Hey, Tig, it's a worry to wonder how Santa will visit with no snow, no chimney, and not knowing where you are staying. But hey, sometimes things just happen. That's the magic. Especially when Grandad says, snow or no snow, Santa will still get here. Especially when Daddy says, chimney or no chimney, Santa will still bring presents. Especially when Mummy says, Santa will always know where you are. I want to see Santa. Hey, I'm sure Santa wants to see you too. But for magic to happen, there's no peeping. If you peep, it wouldn't be magic. Go for it, Tig. Pop into bed and snug down to sleep. Think of cosy, happy thoughts, and soon it will be Christmas Day. Close your eyes for sleepy buys, float all fluffy and light. Smiles and kisses and giggles and hugs will snooze you through the night. No peeping. And then it was Christmas Day. My room was filled with snowflakes. It was magic. At the end of the bed was my stocking filled by Santa. Merry Christmas, Tig. Merry Christmas. Oh. Wow, so Santa found you. I thought he would. Have you got... Around the Christmas tree, we opened more presents. Best of all, was giving Mummy her present from me. Oh my goodness, I love these. Oh, lovely. Very nice. What is it? Best of all, was it? giving Daddy his present from me. Oh, I love it. It suits you. Best of all, was giving Grandad his present from me. Oh, <laughs> His very own Santa. Just like you, Grandad. I think it looks a bit like me. My best present was my magic set from Grandad. No, it's Ted's magic show. Right. After lunch, I did a magic show. No peeping, I said. It wouldn't be magic if you do. Abracadabra. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to do the most amazing trick. Whoa. There's an empty hat. Right. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. <laughs> Go for it, Tig. I liked making Christmas magic for Grandad. There's an empty hat. Right. I love Willy. We've been guests since we were here. Hogmanay. When I was little, we had summer, and my birthday, and snowballs, and Christmas. I liked Christmas the best. Oh. But what I really liked was that after Christmas, we went to stay with my granny. Willie came too. 
Mummy, Daddy and me slept in the sitting room. I slept on a blow-up bed. Mummy and Daddy slept on the sofa. It grew into a bed. It was exciting staying at Granny's after Christmas. One morning, Mummy said, Tig is a very special day today. Do you know what day it is? It's Hogmanay. What Hogmanay? Hogmanay is the very last day of the year. Hogmanay is the very last day of the year. So that means no more days in the universe. So no more days. There will be lots more days because tomorrow will be New Year. There's going to be more days. We've got the whole new year. Exciting things. Yeah. I didn't like it being the last day. I liked this year. When we went into the town, it was so exciting. It was like a big party. There was a fun fair in the streets with a big wheel and a carousel. Everything looked magic. And music everywhere. Hogmanay was a special day. Hogmanay was fun. Everyone seemed so happy. No one seemed to mind it was the last day. When it got dark, there was a big procession with fire torches. A band played with bagpipes. Bagpipes. When we got home, Granny had made a steak pie. pie. Steak pie, my favourite. It was so good. Is it still Hogmanay, Mummy? I just tell Hogmanay, Mummy. Yeah, it is, Tig. Isn't that exciting? Mummy, <laughs> look at my when it was bedtime, Mummy said, Tig, tonight you're going to sleep in Granny's bed. Isn't that exciting? Why am I sleeping in Granny's bed? Because Hogmanay goes long into the night and that is when you and Because me... Hogmanay is a very long day. Then Granny came in with a little tree. This is my special Hogmanay wish tree. Because this is my special Hogmanay wishing tree. Everybody has to make a wish. And once you've made your wish, you pop a fairy onto the tree. What do I wish, Granny? I said. What wish? Well, you could wish for something good to happen in the new year. I don't know, I said. I don't know, Granny. Oh, well, you think about it. And that's your wee fairy to pop on the tree. You have to think, said Granny. I was sad. I didn't want a new year. Whee! Hey, Tig, no need to be sad. Hogmanay might be the last day of one year, but tomorrow is the first day of a brand new year. But what about this year? This year will always be there, as happy memories of summer and snowballs and your birthday and Christmas. But tomorrow will be a new year when you can look forward to summer and snowballs and your birthday and Christmas all over again. Yippee! That's why everyone is so excited and happy on Hogman Eye. Everyone is looking forward to the new year. Yes. And what it will bring. So go for it, Tig. Don't be sad. Whoops! Make a wish for a happy and exciting new year. Yes, I thought. I love Hogmanay, but I'll make a wish for a happy new year where we can have summer, snowballs, and my birthday, and Christmas all over again. Before I went to sleep, Auntie Shona came in. I just came to put my wish on the wishing tree. Where's Clive? Where's your boyfriend, Clive? I said. He's not here, I'm afraid. I wish he was. Are you going to wish for that? Why don't you wish for him? I said. Yes. I think I might. Maybe I shall, said Auntie Shona. I've made my wish. And popped a fairy on the tree. Shona and Mummy kiss me night night. When you wake up, Tig, said Mummy, it will be New Year's Day. In the morning is going to be New Year's Day. I closed my eyes so my wish would come quickly.
When I walk, it was dark. I heard music. I looked into Granny's sitting room. Mummy and Daddy were dancing. Shona was playing her fiddle. Oh, Tig. Oh, sorry, Tig. Is it New Year yet? Is it New Year? I said. No, it's still Hogmanay, said Mummy. Granny's having a wee party. Come and join in. <sighs> we'll go and get the food, Mum. My wish hadn't come true. Is Clive here? I said to Auntie Shona. Is boyfriend Clive here? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, maybe that's Clive now, Shona. When Shona went to the door, she didn't come back with boyfriend Clive. It's Tom. <gasps> Shona came back with a man I didn't know. Tom comes from next door, Tig. He's got a wonderful singing voice. Shona wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Our wishes hadn't come true. Hey, Tig, some wishes can take a long time. Especially when you wake up in the night. But my wish hasn't come true. You've wished for a happy and exciting new year. But you have to wait for a new year to arrive first. New year can't happen just like that. We have to wait until it's exactly the right time. New year will arrive when all the clocks strike 12 o'clock midnight tonight. But hey, wee! Hogmanay makes the waiting fun. So go for it, Tig. Join in Granny's Hogmanay party. And it won't be long now before Hogmanay turns into New Year. Hooray! Yes, I thought. Hogmanay makes the waiting for New Year fun. On we go, heel for heel and toe for toe. Granny and me and Shona danced together. Then Mummy and Daddy came in with some party food. Haggis! The haggis. The haggis looked funny. Suddenly Daddy said, Nearly New Year! It's nearly midnight. Ten! Nine! We all counted backwards. Two! One! Happy New Year! Everyone kissed and hugged. Outside fireworks shot up all over the place. Then the doorbell rang. It was Clive. Auntie Shona was so pleased. Granny was pleased too. When Clive gave her a lump of coal. This will bring us luck, too. Mm -hmm. I showed Willie to Clive to say Happy New Year. It's only a tall spider. <laughs> then Tam from next door sang. And never brought to mind Should old acquaintance be forgot And all Willie sang too sign. Remember all the friends you have And all the things you've done Remember all the friends you have And all the fun to come Shona and Clive were happy. All our Hogmanay wishes had come true. It was New Year. We'd have summer and snowballs and birthdays and Christmas all over again. And I love Willie.